Hey YouTube world, this is your girl Yana of Yana's Eyes. There's definitely going to be a part two to these jeans, but if you want to see how I distress these jeans, please keep watching. Do it with a passion. If I gotta be a, I'ma be a bad one. An AL with a design steer rag. Bounce back game good while we talk in practice. This is my first pair of uh, DIY denim jeans. I have some white acrylic paint case. The bleach does not work out. A pair of trusted scissors. Now the job that I seen done with this was done with a razor, but I'm going to try this steak knife and then I'm going to use this to apply the bleach, sacrifice one of my old brushes. And then I purchased these patches, iron on patches on Amazon. As you can see, there's a variety of them. I was going to just do the roses, but since this is my first pair, I'm going to put those to the side and, you know, work with what I have here. So, looking at them, there's definitely some that I would remove. Also pre-drawn some lines into the denim after trying them on and so I'm either going to use the scissors or the steak knife in order to make those cuts I also have some marks on the back as well okay so I did one leg as practice just to kind of get a feel for my technique and to be honest I actually like the steak knife marks which is like this a little bit already kind of roughed up then the actual scissors which doesn't have anything okay so this is probably about two weeks later um, and these jeans have been sitting, life happened, and I did not get to finish. What did happen was that I put these jeans in the uh, washing machine, and that is the distressed look that they that it came with. It's not, you know, eh, great, so I'm going to keep working at it. Uh, but I do like the fact that some of the thread came loose without me actually having to use the, um, the seam ripper, okay? So what I am gonna do with this side right now before I uh, start on this side, is actually I'm just gonna cut this open. You know, I'm in the sunshine state. I can uh, expose a little bit more thigh here. I'm not even gonna lie. I bit off more than I could chew with this project. This seam ripping takes a lot more time and patience. And I want to say even skill that I may not have, but I'm going to keep working. This is the seam ripper. I've never used it before. Um, and I think I was stabbing it in the wrong places. Like I said, there is going to be a part two to this video because I'm going to spend more time with these jeans. I think... They're almost there, but not quite. So, you know, this is just me actually trying to push, you know, make the, the threads kind of ruffle out. But at the same time, 
the process of getting that distressed look was something that I didn't pay attention to. I actually had to watch another one or two YouTube videos in order to, to see how they were getting that, that distressed kind of, of look. Um, but I did like the fact that I was able to open up the jeans more, cut them into uh, bigger holes instead of being a little scary and just cutting slits into them. This other side was more like a freestyle because um, I did, like I said, I had washed these jeans. So the lines that I pre-drew into the pants were gone. And um, I was okay. That was okay because since I decided to open up the jeans a lot more and put holes instead of just slits, holes and slits, that gave me more of a creative edge to just kind of freestyle with this other leg and, you know, cut where I knew it would be exposing thigh and, um, you know, taking out more of the denim. I put a little crease into the pants before I cut it so that I made sure they were as even as possible, but at the same time, kind of messy and creative. Like I said, I, I well, I kind of gave up on the steak knife. I was scared that I was actually going to cut myself because I was having too much fun just shanking these jeans. But at the same time, the seam ripper and the scissors were sufficient again it just takes more time than I thought I felt like once you cut them and then maybe loosen up the seams a little bit then you would be able to wash them and that's when the thread will come loose but I was sadly mistaken <laughs> Okay, so this is, you know, me cutting where the booty would be, will be. I don't have a whole lot of junk in my trunk. If I did, booty cheeks would be hanging out of the back of these. But for now, it's just a nice cool breeze and a little bit of exposure if I were to bend over. But at the same time, I don't even think I'm going to wear these jeans outside. These were literally more like practice jeans. These are jeans that I've had for a while. They're not my favorite in comfort. And so I decided to practice this pr um, process of distressing them so that whenever I do... Uh, find a pair or want to wear a pair out I can do the same process and get a better result This was my process for bleaching the plant pants that did not work at all. I laid down a towel, a sacrificial towel. I used a spray bottle 
my first mistake was I added water to the bleach kind of to stretch it and I think that that may have played a part but at the same time I then poured straight bleach on the pants I put the pants in a plastic bag tied up the plastic bag for two days before I took them out and to me maybe the pants were just too light but it still just didn't take for me I you know tried to fold and suffocate the bleach into the pants so that it wasn't breathing I don't know if that makes sense but you know I folded it and sprayed until there was no more bleach left in the bottle at all. The acrylic paint, again, was for backup, encased, and because the bleach did not work. I should have watched a few more videos on this process as well, because as you can see, I'm just dropping dots of paint. It's not really a splash effect but just shaking the bottle over the jeans the paint wouldn't come out i had to add a little squeeze to it and when i did it came out in blobs and the pants actually still have some of the paint on them as far as like i can scrape it off with my nail or something so that's the type that will come off on the furniture I'm going to have to wash these a few more times after I distress them a little bit more. I don't say that these are the jeans that I will wear outside because they're not my favorite fitting pair of jeans. But we'll see. I might, I, once I spend a little bit more time with them, I will, I possibly may just like them. This is how they came out for now. Again, I don't like the acrylic paint that much. I'm hoping some of it washes off, but ladies and gents, to be continued. Everything I do, I do it with a passion. If I gotta be a, I'ma be a bad one. Yeah. An AL with a design, still rag. 